long time ago, a long time ago, this story, it, it talks about um, the earth, you know, and um, the earth, yes, that great big earth was covered in water. This great big earth was covered in water. Can you imagine that? The earth covered in water. And um, there was no, no land. There was um, no clean water to drink and no food to eat whatsoever. And this is when all the animals, all of the animals were together. And there was Nanabuju, the first man who could also speak. They were all afloat on top of logs, on top of driftwood, going about their day. And they were all really stressed out because there was no land to walk on. There was no clean water to drink, and there was no food to eat. So they were all stressed out, all of the animals. They didn't know what to do. They said, oh, no! What are we going to do? There's no um, land to live on. There's no clean water to drink. And there's no good food to eat. What are we going to do? Okay. And so Gichimani do the great mystery. Okay. He heard all these animals on earth kind of stressing out and pulling out their hair. Okay. And doing all these stressful things, not knowing what to do. He said, you know what? This is how you're going to do it. You're going to grab a piece of earth from the bottom of that water. You're going to swim all the way down there, and you're going to put it on the turtle's back so you can have land to live on, clean water to drink, and good food to eat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so all the animals said, how in the heck are we going to get below that giant water to get that piece of earth and put it on the turtle's back? Okay, and you know who stood up? who stood up and said, well, let me try, was the great, big, giant Makwa. Makwa, the bear. All right, can you guys say Makwa? Makwa. Makwa the bear said, I am the biggest and the strongest of all the animals. I will take my arm and grab that piece of earth and put it on the turtle's back so we'll have land to live on, we'll have clean water to drink, and we'll have good food to eat. I will save all of you insignificant animals. And so Makwa took its giant bicep of an arm and reached it under that water so far all the way down and got that piece of earth. And that earth, just as, a, you know, Maku was coming up to the surface, that earth slipped through the claws of Makwa all the way back down to the bottom of that great big water. Oh, no! What are we going to do? I am so stressed out. We're not going to have land to live on. We're not going to have clean water to drink or food to eat. What are we going to do? Oh, no! And finally, you know who stood up then? Mm -hmm, you know who stood up then? Was a mick. A mick. The beaver. Okay, you guys know what a beaver is, right? He has kind of buck teeth in the front, that big, you know, sort of tennis racket of a tail. That beaver said, you know what? Actually, you know what you're going to do is you're going to, um, you know, everyone's going to remain calm and scientifically, I will go down to the bottom of the water and according to my calculations, if I get that piece of earth and flip it on my tail, swim back to the top of the water, um, according to my calculations, I will save all of the animals will have land to live on, and according to my calculations, too, we will have clean water to drink and food to eat. And so Amik swam all the way down to the bottom of the water and started swimming and 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 swimming, and swimming, and swimming, and swimming. got that piece of earth, flipped it into the air according to Amik's calculations put it on its tail and started swimming and swimming and swimming and swimming all the way back up to the top 
of that water. And just as a mick was coming, what do you suppose happened? Oh, man, you are right. A mick has a long, sleek, shiny coat. So that piece of earth came slipping off its tail and off its back all the way to the bottom of that water. Right? Oh, no! All the animals were really stressed. They were itching their backs and pulling out their hair. They didn't know what to do. They said, no, we're not going to have land to live on, clean water to drink, or food to eat. Oh, no! And finally, they heard this little voice that said, let me try. All of the animals turned, and they looked around. Let who said that? Who said that? Um, who said that? Oh, nah. You know who said that? It was the itty bitty tiny little Wajashk. A Wajashk. Oh, my goodness. Can you guys say that? Wajashk? Was just it was a little muskrat, right? A little muskrat was just with its tiny little hands, its its webbed hands and funny looking hair and ears and long tail. It is so small. All the animals started laughing. <laughs> you, you're an insignificant little was just. What makes you think you can save all of the animals? Grab the piece of earth, put it on the turtle's back, and save all of mankind and animals. Let me try. So little was just kept saying, let me try. And so little was just, what little was just did was put its little goggles on, put its little swim cap on, and dove all the way down to the bottom of the water, swimming as fast as it could, swimming and swimming, 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 all the way down to the bottom of that water. And all of the animals were peering over and looking. For days passed, days passed, and no sign of little was just. Until on the fourth day or so, when the sun was setting, they saw this little shadow in the distance, and they went over, and there was little was just floating, floating in the water, okay? Little was just had passed away. Little was just had passed away. And when they turned little Wajashk over on its back and they opened its little paw, what do you think was in Wajashk's hand? Yes, you guys got it. That tiny little piece of earth, one tiny speck. And they put it on that turtle's back, okay? And then there, land to live on clean water to drink, and good food to eat because of little Wajashk. So we listen to this story and we think, okay, no matter how small you are, okay, you are just as powerful as the biggest animal if you keep on trying, okay? So in this way, if you go on Google Maps or something like that at school, you can see, you know, the United States in the shape of a turtle. And so we give thanks for little Wajashk. Oh.